Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Sunrider. Uh, this is going for a long time, but I've loved every second of it. I hope you're enjoying it too. But most importantly, I think we really are coming to a grand climax of some kind, at least. Hopefully involving getting Sarah back, but right now it looks like getting the super death weapon that can make black holes and destroy entire star systems kind of needs to be destroyed. We barely escaped with our lives last time. Literally, we got hit with like the super blast, probably a glancing blow considering the fact that we didn't die, but it was very close. And uh, I think we have some people to chat with. So we're gonna, oh no, looks like we're gonna just go diving right into it. I'm gonna check and do some research, make sure I got everything all up to specs and upgraded as much as I can. And I'll see you on the other side. And we're back, so I didn't do too much. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought two new missiles, cause I use those like, a lot <laughs> and then I upgraded the ship I made it mostly it took most of the, the money I made to make it so the kinetic is a little cheaper uh, hopefully making it so I can do even more especially when I have to do one of those quick warps to go and take out those freaking little devils that are the uh, the writers that put all the negative buffs on my people holy cow like I wish I could have shown you a bit more of it but it was like so scattered and just wasn't coherent enough to really put into an episode but they rip you apart they just take everything away from you and make it so like like they turn your flak off and everything hits you and they take the shields out I mean I could do so much damage if I had like three Chigaras if I had three of them it would be utter devastation and that's what they can do so it's been pretty rough but luckily I've been saving up my captain's points and the warps are still cheap enough that I tend to make up the difference at the end of the battle so it may be kind of cheap, but honestly, it's pretty necessary. I can't really let them dance around that like that. Anyway, so let us continue. <sighs> She'll pick up pot on debris from the floor. I mean, it's like, huh? Well, I don't know what that was for. His office was a mess, with books, paperwork, and models strewn all over the floor. It'd be a while before I could get it all organized again. That'd be so terrifying, just... Because you're on a spaceship in space. Can you think about the fact that, like, you'd see all this wreckage and be like, it feel like the walls were a little thinner, you know? <laughs> that, that the infinite void a little closer to your death than you realize. He gave up and collapsed onto his chair. Oh, please, Chigara, please come visit us. I was going to say, I'm super lucky that I think Chigara is, like, the cutest of the waifus here because I don't really get to choose who I'm, who S.H.I.E.L.D. is interested in, like most visual novels. It kind of looks like it's just on that path. I I think, though, I heard that in the sequel, that's different, that I think there is an element of, of choice about who you pursue romantically. But so far, I love every Chikara scene. It's the best. Pain shot through, t through his temple. Was it because of his wounds? Darbell. Come, <clears throat> come in. Captain, I prepared a full damage report. Shales looked at the report, through the report. Seaman Luan dead. Eccentric. It's, uh, Eric Ridge wounded. Atruna dead. Vaughn amputated. Ugh. He clenched his teeth. Overwork all the repair drones. I want the crew working round the clock. Get the ship operational again. Once the Alliance fleet gets here, we'll hit the Legion with everything we have. We're going to end it this time, once and for all. Captain, you cannot mean to take the Sunrider into battle again. Their ship is in no condition to fight. We can sit this one out. Let the Alliance handle it. I don't know. We've been pretty critical at every battle we've been to. Shale stood from his chair. He nearly stumbled with pain shot through his leg. I know the feeling! I had terrible, terrible injuries to my knee when I was had a biking accident in ninth grade. It still bugs me. No. We sink that ship. Captain. I am ordering you, Commander. We sink that ship. I want it done. Uh-oh. Going a little Captain Ahab here. That could be our doom. We're not careful. What's come over you, Kato? This isn't like you. Shields felt his blood boil. Every time. When it appeared on Sarah, we retreated. When it appeared on Ruvia Prime, we retreated. 
When it appeared on Farpoint, we let it go. I... I have had it. We will not retreat this time. The line must be drawn here! This far, no further! Oh, Captain Picard, your words are just so moving. That ship killed millions of our people, sank our entire fleet, destroyed our world. No more! Oh, it means business. Even if it costs our lives, we will sink it. It has taken everything from me, and I will not let it take any more. Kato, you've got a family on this ship. You'd throw them away for revenge? Kato! Shields crumpled into his seat. He breathed for air, his hands trembling. <sighs> the two stared at each other. Shields took a deep breath and calmed himself. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was wrong. It has not taken everything. Because I still have you. Don't I? Huh. I remember the real reason why I never left our old student council. It wasn't because of something stupid like wanting to help the student body or for better uniforms. It was because I couldn't stand the thought of being away from you. Wow, what a bold confession. I know, Kato. I knew the whole time. And here we are again, side by side. Once again, fighting for the good of nothing, uh, fighting for a good for nothing cause to nowhere. You're the only family I have left. Stop it. You're the captain of this ship. You can't afford to let your emotions control you. We have a duty. The preservation of this ship. This isn't the time. It's you who I've always loved, Ava. Oh no, Portugara! Oh, fetch, she's crying. I... I'm sorry, Captain. What? I cannot. What? But our promise. I have no recollection of what you might be referring to, Captain. I see. I, I see. Shield stared blankly at Eva. Very well, Commander. Ready the battle plans. We strike the Legion. Okay. Understood, Captain. Great. So because I am an emotional wreck, we throw ourselves into battle anyway? Stupid, stupid, stupid. And there's no one to talk to? I want to... I don't know what I want. Gosh darn it. I don't like where this is going. It's so sad. The music's really sad too. Oh my gosh. She was sat alone, staring at the ceiling as Moray's last concert played in the background. Oh man, we're starting a spiral of destruction here. Captain, are you here? Are you alright? Yeah. Come on in. I'm sorry about the mess. I imagine, like, walking around, like, <laughs> like, ashes and bits of metal all over the floor. Shield stood and instinctively went to his tea set. He opened the cabinet. It's gonna be shattered, isn't it? The tea set was smashed into a million shards. He stared at what remained. A poetic. His face burned with humiliation and tear as tears filled his eyes. He crumpled to the floor. Oh. No. He patted his fist into the floor. No! Whoop! I pushed the wrong button. I went for dramatic and it went to saving. No! Oh. Captain! Shigari held on to him. What's, what's the matter? It's taken everything. Absolutely everything. Shh. 
<laughs> Nothing's left. Everything's all right, Captain. Jagara's here. No. I abandoned her. I saw it her. I saw it kill her before my very eyes, and I ran. I fled. It's my fault. It was I who failed her. Shh. You ordered the. Your order of the day that saved everyone aboard this ship. It was the best order you could have given. Now, I have nothing left. No home to return to. No family. All the places of the past turned to ash. Shh. You have me, Captain. You have your ship. Your crew. We are your family. Chikara is the hero of this show. You never cried when your sister died? It's alright, Captain. Your seeker will be safe with me. She looks onto, onto Chikara and sobbed. Chikara. I know I'll never be able to replace everything we lost. But I'll always be here for you. It's a promise. Shigara. I'm sorry. I failed her. I... I failed her. Captain. <sighs> I just need a moment real quick just to kind of... I doubt that was an Oscar-worthy or anything, but... Dang. Gets you right here, huh? Let's do this. Shield walked into the bridge. Report, Commander. Repairs on our hull in Vanguard Canada are complete, Captain. We're once again ready, green for combat operations. The Alliance fleet has arrived. The operation will commence as planned. Review the battle plan one last time. Aye, Captain. The Chief Engineer has examined all the combat data we have gathered on the Legion to date. She believes she has discovered a weakness. While the Legion is plated with enough heavy armor to nullify all conventional weapons, we may be able to use it to our advantage. Interesting. A vanguard directly down its primary laser shaft will destroy its primary power generator deep inside the Legion's belly, thus ensuing a chain reaction ship which the ensuing chain reaction should be sufficient to destroy the entire ship from the inside out. So in other words, the only way to kill that thing is to fly right in front of its primary weapon and shove our vanguard down its maw, huh? Absolutely insane. The plan is approved! <laughs> Sir Shields activated the PA. Oh, that's a sight. All hands, this is your captain speaking. Momentarily, we will engage the packed Super Dreadnought Legion and the Paradox Core. The coming battle will not be easy. I will not mince words with you. We lost people close to us because of that ship. In just a flash, it took away our homes, our families. I know this mission has not been easy. It has not been easy for me. It has not been easy for any of you. But there is one thing the Legion will never take away from us. Our hope. Our hope that we will rebuild everything which was destroyed. That we will continue to live and love each other. That we will rise from the ashes of war stronger than ever before. We will not give in to despair. Pact may destroy our cities and terrorize us with weapons the galaxy has never known, but we will rebuild all that we have lost. We will win this battle for Sarah, for all the memories we hold dear for our home, for all those who have lost their lives just so we could make it this far. Together, we will end the Legion's reign of terror. It may have spawned from the deepest depths of hell, but we will send it crashing back into the hellfire from whence it came. So the galaxy will see a new day. A new day where we live free of the terror of a madman and tyranny. A day when we can all go back home. A day as bright as our memories of Sarah. Whew! That's one for the books. The bridge crew stood and applauded. A cheer filled the PA and echoed through the halls of the Sunrider. 
That's our captain. Huh? Huh. He hasn't lost yet. Ten huh Captain Captain. Oh, they're so Oh the waifus! Oh, I love them so much. They're so fun. Why are you covering Akari's face? That's not good. <laughs> She'll steal themselves for the coming battle. The Alliance fleet the Alliance fleet is commencing with the attack. All ahead full. Engage! Battle stations. Is this it? Is this the last one? I'm holy Kalito, that thing is huge. So do I literally have to use the Vanguard Cannon and attack? I wonder. Interesting. I'll see. I'm gonna try it, okay? I'm gonna do an experiment where I'm gonna jump literally right in front of it and use the Vanguard Cannon inside it and just see if that will actually work, like right off the bat. I doubt it will. I imagine it's gonna be a fun cutscene, but I'm gonna try it first thing in this battle. So I'm gonna save and we are going to see what happens. But in the meantime, Battle placements. Warning! The Legion is dead ahead! Oh, look at the size of that! Oh, what a monstrosity! Come on, everyone! Stick together! We can sink it like any other ship! Don't let any unit get hit by the Legion's main cannon. Nothing can survive that. Uh-oh. I might have really messed up our formation right now. Main objective, sink the Legion. Mission 2. Sun Raider and her riders cannot be hit by the Legion's main cannon. So no one can be hit by it. Fetch. Okay. I'm going to do the first thing I'm going to try. And then... This is my command. Prepare to fire the Vanguard cannon. Oh my gosh. Vanguards, fire. I wonder if this will actually work. Oh, that looks so sweet. That did like nothing. Yeah, that wasn't uh that wasn't a success. Okay. Reloading save! Reloading save! <laughs> Especially because I messed up the formula. Oh no! I just saved over it. <laughs> oh fetch. Retreat. Back okay. <gasps> oh I saved it. Whew. That did not go good. Okay, okay. So now do not get in front of it. <laughs> we will be smart. Your Two hours later. Allied forces are engaged in a firefight near our position. Shall we divert forces to assist him, Captain? Optional objective rescue Alliance fleet and use them against Legion. Okay, where are they? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, well, if we can just get them to retreat far enough. Six hours later. Stairs reporting, sir. Captain! Keep your eyes on me. Fully armed and ready. Bombs away. Yeah. <clears throat> we lost a few people, but we didn't lose anyone catastrophically. Oh my gosh. I was all over that battlefield, though. It was... Oh, I felt good. The strategy worked really, really well, and my troops were able to be mobile enough not to ever be in the line of fire. It did mess with the Seraphim a little bit. Um, I nearly lost Jagara. That could have messed me up pretty good, but thankfully she was able to jump out of the way of a lot of attacks. So, let's see what happens. Fire the main cannon down the throat of the mighty beast. We've weakened the Legion systems. However, the Alliance fleet has taken heavy losses as well. This ends now. Plot an intercept course. Aye, Captain. Beginning our approach. Ho ho ho. Ah, jeez. Gah! Steady as she goes. We're on an approach. Distance, 1,000. Bring in, begin to charge the vanguard. We're taking massive damage. All breaches reported in all sea sections. Hold course. Distance, 6,000. Oh no. Ugh. The bridge rattled as conduits burst, spraying sparks everywhere, like typical Star Trek style. <laughs> Lights flickering on and off. Hold steady! Distance 3000! Prepare to fire! The console exploded, sending a helmsman flying from his station. Steel groaned as if the Sunrider herself were dying. 
Distance 1000! 800! 400! Fire! Shield's order had no effect. No! I said fire! The Vanguard is not responding, Captain! Gosh darn it! Shield punched his armrest. Our Vanguard controls are offline! It can't remotely be fired from the bridge! Break off our attack. Relay a message to Meshevelli Actual. We need to take the shot. Negative, Captain. The Meshevellis are not nimble enough to make our approach. Only we can take the shot. Warning! The Legion's powering its main cannon! We're sitting right in front of the entrance. The Alliance line is falling apart at this rate! It's gonna be a bloody massacre. Give me the vanguards, now! The manual override auxiliary control station C's appears to be functional. Didn't you just say all C sections were damaged? Aye, Captain! Get a repair crew down there now! All hands are currently occupied! I'm going down there myself! The manual control is the only shot we have at destroying the Legion! No, yeah, let me do it. Oh, I can use the wish all! I can also make it a command decision. Okay. Doesn't this feel like the time to use it? I saved it. I didn't sell it. This is the perfect way. It's like, we got our secret weapon. Do it. I'll be right back. There's substantial damage to the auxiliary control station. However, the manual controls appear intact. We've begun our approach. Distance 6,000. Watch it. Watch it. The Legion firing. Ugh. The Sunrider howled as her frame bent and twisted. Steel beams snapped overhead and fell around Avas and skewered the floor. Conduits burst, spraying fire and sparks. Come on. Come on. No. Oh my gosh. The floor ruptured underneath Ava, fight, flinging her across the room. <sighs> Commander, are you all right? Ava wiped blood from her face. I'm fine. She picked herself up and limped towards the vanguard controls. Oh my freaking gosh, we're gonna be obliterated! Steel shards rained from the ceiling. Ava ducked and covered her head as glass and steel shredded her. Just a bit. She grasped, gasped for air as, the con as she crawled to the console controls. She pulled herself up and grabbed the steel lever. Her hand sizzled against the superheated steel. Ava grimaced as her flesh fused with the steel. Ava's a flippin' hero! Come on! She pl placed her other hand on the lever and pulled with all her might. Come on! The console in front of her exploded in a massive fireball. Pieces of Ava splattered the floor. Her arm was torn from her body. Her face was shredded in half. No! Wish all! Shields grimaced as, his, as her howl filled the calm. Ava! Ava! Captain, the Legion's preparing to fire its primary cannon. The Sunrider will not fire the Vanguard in time. You must break off the attack. No. Ava will make it. Captain! She will make it! Ava gagged up blood. Come on, wish all! This isn't the wish all for something like this! She had no idea whether she was still alive. All she knew was the lever had to be pulled. The lever. Oh my gosh. She crawled to the console as a bloody mess. The lever! She grabbed it with her only remaining hand. With all her remaining strength, she pulled. Ah! Then break off! Break off! No! It worked! She did it! Shield shot up, his eyes wide. Vanguards are firing! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes! Mmm! No words came to shields as what was the, once the Legion fell into the fires of the star. For a moment, he stopped. He stood, speechless. 
Then, we return to his senses. Ava! Get medics down to auxiliary control room C now! Ava, come in! Ava! Ava! Please, please, please don't let her die. My leader, the Legion has fallen. We must get you evacuated. At this rate, coward. We will deal with the Sunrider personally. My leader, prepare our riders. Soon, our plan shall come to fruition. Come on! The pack fleet's in total disarray. Now's our chance to get the Paradox Core. Ah, uh, a new unit has entered the battle. <laughs> Arcadius, you're here! Welcome, Captain, to our festival. All riders, take out Arcadius now! We can end the war here and now. End the war? Oh no, Captain. Our body is immortal, for if we fall, another will pick up the mask and carry on. Oh yeah, Sola! Target neutralized. Even in this area, their speeches run too long. <laughs> Confirm. Did we get him? We we got him! Arcadius is no more! <laughs> what? Fools. You cannot defeat us all. Oh boy. We are Legion. The Arcadius 2? We are more than the stars. They're clones! But you do not. We are Arcadius! <laughs> now do you see, Captain? How will you defeat an enemy whose numbers are infinite? For every one of us you defeat, more replace us. Our minds are one, but our bodies are many. Not yet! I... She's gonna do it. She's going super sane. I know I'm not as reliable as the commander, and I'm not as smart as Chigara, but I'm the one who will defeat you, monster of evil. Oh. Fall back to the vile pit from whence you came. For this is where we will draw- the line will be drawn. You are but a pathetic girl playing hero. I'm more than a girl. I'm more than a hero. I'm... Holy crap, she's got two! The Shard of Ryubia! What? Arcadius! You'll pay for what you did to my father! Whoa, 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 wait, battle again? This is gonna be such a long episode if I don't stop it here. But, but, but... I have to stop it here! Holy crap, you have to watch the next episode with me! Oh, I can't wait to figure out what's gonna happen next. This is insane! How the... What the... And look! I don't have the Sunrider! I don't have the Sunrider! Flip! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, you, sitting at your computer or on your phone. Hopefully not on the toilet, but... Well, do whatever. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.